Okay, welcome back to Shadow of the Colossus, everyone. Now, in the last episode, we defeated probably one of the most difficult colossi we have faced so far. He was quite tough, put up a good fight. And in this episode, we're going to be moving on to number 12. We're getting closer to the end here. I think this is the point where the fights start to become quite long. So... I'm not sure how I'm going to be splitting up these videos because I think I've mentioned this before but I cannot upload 20 minute videos unfortunately because my internet is way too slow but I should shut up for this So yeah, we got our info there. I did have some practice with this Colossus before. I tried to fight him. And he is quite tough as well. You need like a specific strategy to beat him. Our trusty horse is always here. So yeah, what I was saying is that my internet is way too slow. And unfortunately, I cannot upload like 20 minute videos because they would take like... 12 hours to upload so I don't know how I'm going to split these things up hopefully they won't take too long so anyways the pr first place we want to head to is those two I guess like pillars yeah they there they are around that bridge and we need to cross this bridge to get to the Colossus I don't think we've gone in this direction before but no I'm pretty sure we haven't there is a safe shrine on the way if you really need it I'm gonna try to collect the crystal no not crystal lizard the white lizard tail increase my stamina a little bit even though it I if it is extremely small it's gonna be helpful so let's see if we can take it out with an arrow Oh, let's slow down. There he is. No, don't. God damn it. Damn lizard. Where did it go? Huh. You know what? Screw it. I did actually get it on my practice run and it... The change in stamina is not even noticeable. So you know what? Who cares? I'm pretty sure the stamina bar increases naturally too. So yeah, we're gonna need to cross that other bridge as well. And I think after this we're gonna be taking a right. And let's just check. Oh no, it's straight ahead. Yeah, I remember. When we get into that forest, then we're gonna take a right. Whoa, whoa, whoa trying to steer my horse here so as soon as possible we're gonna be there we go heading right here yeah and through here and now we're pretty close to the Colossus you cannot bring aggro with you this is a Water Colossus. I think this is the only... This and Hydras are the only ones. But don't quote me on that. Actually, this one isn't really a water creature. I mean, it kind of... It is in water, but it walks. It doesn't swim. So, yeah, this one's kind of weird. But you, you'll see when we get there. So, this is where we get off. Put away our sword for the climbing. If we hang on to this pillar, we can cross to the other side. Obviously, be careful not to fall. Because that's instant death. I think there is a checkpoint here. So if you die, the game just puts you back here. Okay, let go. And we can walk up this ledge here. And we're going to have to get into the water. So let's just jump off. 
And actually, I did check. Wonder does swim faster underwater, so I'm gonna be using that to my advantage because this is quite a swim. Actually, this is a really cool area. I should go up to the surface. There is this huge bridge here. I don't think we can ever cross this one. And there are these ruins here in the lake. On the lake. And actually, I think we, if we die down, you can actually see a part of the Colossus. It's right there. Yeah, as I said before, this one looks kind of weird. You'll see when we get to him. We just need to get to this center platform here. Actually, I'm going to get my bow out. Because there are two ways to do this fight. There is a quick way, but that one's kind of risky, so it might not work out. So, here he comes. So as you can see, his, his face is pretty much all armored up and he has these two tusks which shoot electricity and that's kind of annoying. And the weird thing about this one is that he has like these, I guess they're teeth on his head, I don't know. Okay, so what we want to do for the easy method is shoot one of the teeth with the arrow, ouch, and not get shot ourselves. So hopefully, yeah, this is gonna make him kind of, yeah, do that. Actually, I'm gonna do the long way. The short way is to jump on to his face. But, yeah, as I said before, that's not easy to do. The way you're supposed to do it is swim around to his back. And hopefully this should work out. It's not that difficult. You're faster than, than he is. So if you can just get to climbing... Excellent. We can let go here for a bit. And we're just gonna carefully climb his back. He's going to start shaking after a while. And once we get on top of him, that's when the real fun begins. So yeah, he does shake quite a bit. But when he's not shaking, we can let go and run. Let's get our sword out. Because you'll notice there is no weak point on his head or anywhere on his body that we can see. So what we need to do is it's actually possible to steer this guy by hitting the teeth or whatever these are. And what we're trying to get him to do is get him to that pillar over there or platform. And now we can jump off excellent we should take cover behind this wait yeah that's it so that we don't get shot and actually one thing that's kind of interesting is that your health regenerates faster when you're crouching so what we might actually need to do is no don't go away Good that thing. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Yeah, come on. This is it. Okay, and we're gonna make a jump carefully. And here's his weak point. So get a couple of stabs in. There is no way to kill him in one shot. That's for sure. Is that it? I guess that's all we're gonna get. But now it's back onto his head. I might need to do this in three parts. That took quite a bit longer than I... Not longer, but I didn't have as much time to attack him. I guess I got about half of his life off. No, a bit less, more like a third.
Last time I got a bit more damage on him. But I was just practicing there. I was just messing around. I was trying to do the quick way to get on top of him, but uh, kept falling off. So I was like, I'd rather not risk it. This is the way you're supposed to do it. Luckily he doesn't move that much. He's gonna, once he's near a pillar, he's gonna stay in that general direct area, area I mean. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't shake. I've never seen him do that. That's weird. Come on. Let me hit your weird tooth thing. Come on. Okay, get our bow and arrow out. No, that was a terrible shot. Oops. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Didn't mean to get shot myself, but... Okay, he's jumping out. Hopefully I'm close enough. Yes, I am. Is that it? Just one hit? Wow, he recovers from his stagger or whatever quite quickly. Uh-oh. I guess that thing's gone. We're gonna have to steer him to a new pillar. That might prove to be quite a problem. Ah, uh, I guess not. As long as you're underwater, I don't think he can actually shoot you or harm you in any way. And as I said, he is kind of slow, so getting to his back is not that much of a challenge. Okay. Let's quickly recover a bit. Whoa. Okay, I'm running out. No, I'm st I'm still good on stamina. I'm a bit more worried about HP or health. I'd rather not do this whole fight again if it's possible. So yeah, we're gonna be taking a longer ride on his back this time. The only problem with that is that we have more chances to fall off. Okay, where should we? There we go. That's the place. Okay, maybe you can turn around. This guy mu must have the worst toothache ever. Okay, go ahead, just go straight ahead. Can we jump? Yes, we can. Whoa, oops. That was too close. Okay, come on. And one more. He's dead. Whew, he was a tough one actually. Uh oh, that's not good. That's gonna be cause quite a splash. It's so awesome. The animation when they fall over is just excellent. They really pay attention to the detail in this game. Okay, let's see. Where are the black lines? There they are. How the hell does he not drown? Does he get teleported instantly or something? I don't know. So that was the silent thunder. So yeah, I'm gonna end the episode here. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like this episode. I hope you enjoyed. 
and I'll see you guys next time. Again, thanks for watching.